Hey, howdy, hey y'all, Leanna here. This is part one of a very brutal, for me, eyeshadow palette declutter. In this video, I will be decluttering brands A through D. These videos were recorded months and months ago. I have taken my time to edit and get them uploaded so some of what I say may be a little irrelevant now as far as like some of the palettes I was using in a panning project at that time and I may not be doing that now. If you stick around and watch all three videos once I get them uploaded at the end of the third video, part three, I will have lots of data for you. Numbers, monetary values, how many I decluttered, how many I kept, how many I depotted, all the things. Enough talking. Let's get on into the video. So we're going to jump right in and we're going to start off with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I have nine of them and I know for sure that I'm decluttering a few of them, surprisingly. We're going to start off with my Cosmos palette. This is a beautiful palette. I have used it a couple of times. I absolutely love it. This palette will be staying. And then we have my Fall Romance palette. And I love this palette too. The packaging is nice, but as you can see, it is already furry from, you know, lots of kitty cats. <laughs> I have used this palette as well. It is one of my favorite ABH palettes, and I am definitely keeping this one. Next up is my Jackie Anna palette, and I believe that I have used this palette once. It's a really nice palette. I bought this because my daughter influenced me to do so because it's one of her favorite palettes. And I do want to try to get some use out of this this year, so I'm going to be keeping it. Next up is the ABH Primrose palette. And sadly, I have not used this palette at all. I am not ready to declutter it yet, though, because I have not used it. I'm going to try to get this in the queue and get it used to see whether or not I want to keep it. And then we have the Rose Metals palette. This as well is one of my favorites. I have used this quite a bit. Absolutely love it. It is a phenomenal palette and it's not going anywhere. Then we have the Soft Glam. This was one of the first ABH palettes that I purchased and as you can see I have quite a bit of disturbance in this palette. It's a really good palette and I will be keeping that. And then I have three Norvina palettes. The first palette that I received I got in BoxyCharm, which made me want to try some of the others. That is this Volume 1, which has a very pretty color story to it. I have not really use this palette much. It seems to me these Norvina palettes have a little bit of a different formula to them than the other palettes. So I'm not sure. I know I will be decluttering this. I'm not sure if I will put it in my Macari store or if I will add it to my Halloween makeup. I have a, a bin of makeup that I use just for Halloween. This is volume three. This one as well, I have attempted to use. The color story makes no sense to me. <laughs> and it has some bright kind of neon colors that is just not my thing. So this as well will either be placed in my Macari store or put into my Halloween. That would make a good Halloween palette. And then we have volume five out of the three i actually like this one the best 
Again, I'm not sure if I will keep it as the entire palette. I think I'm going to keep this one, but I will probably uh, depot it and use these as single shadows. Moving on to my Ace Beauté palettes, I have a total of 19 palettes. I'm going to start off with the Ace Beauté Aura palette. This is new to my collection. I haven't had this very long. I haven't used it yet, so I will definitely be keeping that one. Then I have the Ace Beauté Blossom palette. This is a very strong color story for me. Uh, it's not something that I would gravitate to. As a matter of fact, looking at it, I've never even used it, so I will be decluttering this one. And then we have the Classical Paradise palette. I am undecided on what to do with this palette. I have never used it. I've had it for several years, so I would say since I have never used it that I probably should let it go. Next we have the Envy palette, which goes along with the Aura palette. This as well is new to my collection. I love the color story in this. This is kind of bold too, but those greens and purples and the purplish blue with the browns is appealing to me, so I will be keeping that one. This is the Falling For You palette. I have had this palette for a while too and have not used it much. It's a very pretty palette, but since I've had it for so long and have not used it, I think I will declutter it. Next we have the Flare palette. This as well is a very colorful, pretty color story. I do not believe I have used this at all. It is untouched, so it will be going in my Macari store. Next we have the Floral Vintage Palette. I have used this palette quite a few times. I really do enjoy it, and I believe that I will be keeping it. Next is the Grandiose Palette. This palette was gifted to me by one of my subscribers. She has a channel here on YouTube, Spirited Dragonfly. I will have her channel linked down below. I have not tried this palette, and since it was gifted to me, I am going to keep it and see if I can't try it out this year. Next is the Nostalgia Palette. I have use this palette. I believe that I use this palette in a couple of collabs and it is a very colorful pretty palette but I have not reached for it in years so this one will be decluttered. Moving on to the Oceanic palette. This is a beautiful color story. I have used this palette once I believe. I am undecided on whether or not I want to keep this I'm going to say that since I have not used it, that I am going to declutter it. Palladopoly. This was such a fun release. And I did a collab video with Renee from Beauty and More with Renee. We had such a good time doing that collab. I really do like the color story in this palette. And I just gave this palette along with the game to my daughter for Christmas, so I think I'm going to keep it, and she and I may try to play that game. Paradise Fallen, this is absolutely my favorite Ace Beauté palette. I absolutely love it. I did a collab with Andy from Andy Does Stuff, and this palette is actually in what I call my private collection, because my collection is so large that I keep my favorites close to me, close to my vanity, and that is where this palette will go back to. Next is the Quintessential palette. I have used this palette as well in a collab, have not touched it since. It will be decluttered. 
Scarlet Dusk. This is a very pretty color story as well. Again, something that I do not reach for. This one will be decluttered as well. Slice of Paradise. I had this palette. Andy, I believe it was Andy, wanted it or was looking for one because she wanted to complete her collection. And I sent it to her and then ended up buying it again. And here it is, completely untouched. It will be decluttered. This is the Smoky Roses palette. I love the color story in this palette. It is so pretty. I will definitely be keeping this one. Next is the Tropical Vibes palette. This is a really pretty green color story. Again, I have not reached for it. I have other palettes in my collection that kind of match some of these shades, so I will be decluttering that. This is the Vintage Dawn palette, and it as well is a beautiful color story. I have not used this palette at all, and I've had it for several years. That will be decluttered. And the last Ace Beauté palette is the Violet Sage. I love the color story in this. It's absolutely beautiful, and this one I will be keeping. This is the Adapt Cosmetics Plain Jane palette. This is new to my collection. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Absolutely amazing. I got it on sale, and I will be keeping that. Moving on to Alter Ego, I have six of their palettes, and this is the Artemis palette. And I have used this quite a bit, and I will be keeping it. Next is the Bloom palette. And this is a pretty palette. It is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Love palette, I believe, which I have. So I will be decluttering this one. The Canyon palette, which is also a dupe for one of the Natasha Denona. Is this a dupe for the bronze palette, maybe? Uh... Do not have the bronze palette, but these are very, very warm shades, and I'm not much on warm shades, so I think I will declutter that one. The Luster palette, which is a dupe for one of the Pat McGrath Labs palettes. I don't right at the moment recall which one, but I do enjoy this palette, and I am going to keep it. The Sakura palette, which is also a dupe for one of the Natasha Denona palettes. I don't remember. I should have looked it up, but whatever. Here we are. This is such a pretty palette. I do enjoy this. I am going to keep it. And then we have Shadow Kiss, which is a dupe for the Glam palette from Natasha Denona. And I do have that palette. So I will be decluttering this one. From there, we're moving on to Artist Couture. This is the only palette I have by this brand. This is the Supreme Nudes. And I really liked this palette when I first got it. This was one of the first big girl brand palettes that I bought when I started this journey. But as you can see, I have not used it much. And so I think I will declutter it. That kind of surprises me, actually. Badass Beauties Field Ops. This is the only palette that I own from this brand. And it is a nice palette. It's a nice formula. But I just don't reach for it. And I really want to keep palettes that I am going to reach for. I'm not sure if I will put this in my store or if I will depot it I'll have to see how many of those shades I already have but either way I am decluttering this one I have two beauty bakery palettes proof is in the pudding 
This is a cute little palette, not something that I reach for. So I will be decluttering this. And the Sour You Doing palette, which is not a color story that I would reach for. So I will be decluttering this one as well. Moving on to Beauty Bay. I have four Beauty Bay palettes and spoiler alert, I will be keeping all four of them. This is the neutral palette, neutral. And it is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of Andy's from Andy Duff Stuff favorite palettes. She actually influenced me into buying this and I will be keeping that for sure. Next is the Fantasy Palette. This is new to my collection. I haven't had this very long. I absolutely love that color story. And I will be keeping that one. And then I have Midnight. And I also have Earthy. And these are large. My daughter influenced me into purchasing these two palettes. And I have not given them the love that they deserve, so I want to keep them and play with them, and they may end up in a future declutter, but for now, I want to keep them. This palette reminds me a lot of the Be Perfect Antidote palette, so I will have to put those side by side and see what the end result of that is. And now... For this beautiful Becca palette, which they don't make these anymore. It is so pretty. That baked formula is amazing. But again, I've had this for a while. I have not reached for it, so I am sadly going to declutter it. The Bella Life in Pastel. This is a very pretty, colorful palette. Not something that I reach for. I have no idea what possessed me because I'm really not a big pastel girl. So I will be decluttering this as well. Moving on to BH Cosmetics. This is going to be a hard one. I have 21 <laughs> BH Cosmetics palettes. Let's start with the Sun and Moon, the Mystic Zodiac. Look at how pretty these are. I have not used them. I love the color story in these. I'm moving that over the, that way because I am definitely, definitely going to be keeping them. This reminds me of the new ColourPop uh, Aura, Aura Nights. I don't remember the exact name of it. So I will have to place these side by side and see how they compare, but I want to show those some love this year. Next is the Mimosa palette. This is a very pretty color story. Not something that I would gravitate towards. So sadly, I'm going to declutter this one. I believe that I was collecting BH palettes because they went out of business. And now I'm kind of regretting some of my life choices. <laughs> the Blueberry Muffin Palette. I absolutely love this palette and will be keeping it. That one's not going anywhere. And then I have these Birthstone Palettes. Um, I did spend some time collecting these for various reasons. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to keep them all. This is the Sapphire Palette. Some of these were gifted to me by Andy from Andy Does Stuff and Ash from Makeup and Chaos. Because I was looking for them, I wanted the Sapphire palette because that is my son Christopher's birthday. The Diamond palette, which is April. It has never been used my granddaughter's birthday is in April, so I will be keeping that one. Pearl for June. That is my daughter Brandy's birthday, so I will be keeping that one. Opal for October. That is my mother's birth month, 
and I will be keeping that one. I could have done these in order, huh? Emerald for May. Whose birthday is in May? Lordy Lou. Well, fortunately, the people that I love <laughs> don't watch my videos, so I don't have to worry. Whoever it was, I have forgotten. But look at the greens. That is so pretty. I'm definitely keeping that. Citrine for November. November is my birth month. And I was very intimidated by the color story in this palette, but I used it and actually really liked the look that I created, so I will be keeping that. And Amethyst for February, which is my grandmother's birth month, and this palette is currently in my Cats and Dogs panning project, so I can't get rid of it because <laughs> I'm, I'm using it in a project, but I would be keeping that anyway. And then we have the Alondra and Elsie BFF palette. I believe that I got this from, yes I did, I got it from TJ Maxx. Again, because I was collecting palettes, it has never been used. I, I haven't even opened it up. And I think that I will declutter that one. Avocado Toast. Y'all know that that one's not going anywhere. <laughs> and neither is my Naughty Palette. Love this. This is such a good palette. I remember when this one came out. They were still in business when I purchased this from their website. And the formula of this is absolutely amazing. Just did a collab at Christmas time with Andy, Ash, and Erica. Nude Ego. This is the palette that was released after who bought them? Makeup Revolution, maybe? I don't remember, but this palette sucks. It will be decluttered. Definitely not BH Formula. Opalescent. I think that I got this from TJ Maxx as well. That is a very pretty color story. I have not used it. I think that I want to keep this and try it, but it may end up in a future declutter. Party in Puerto Rico. I'm undecided on this palette. I have used it once. I may have used it in a collab video, but I have not used it since. Ugh. What to do? What to do? Leanna, Leanna, do you need this? Do you need this? I'm going to declutter it. Passion in Paris. This is a very pretty color story, and it kind of reminds me of the Blueberry Muffin palette. But I do like the shades in this one, and so I think I will keep that one. Stellar Collision. This is new. I have not used it yet. This is their bake formula, and look at how stunning this palette is. I found this palette on Macari, I believe, and it is not going anywhere except for back on my shelf. <laughs> and my last BH Cosmetics palette is the Zodiac. This as well is the baked formula, and... It is so pretty, and I have not used this. I am looking forward to using it. I have two Blend Bunny Cosmetics palettes, and I will be keeping both of them. I have the Dollhouse palette, which is gorgeous, and the Surge palette, which is also gorgeous, and way out of my comfort zone, but I just cannot part with either one of those. I have three Be Perfect palettes. The Gravity palette is new to my collection. Look at the cool toned, yummy goodness of that palette. I am keeping that. The Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette. Oh, that as well is way out of my comfort zone, but I just cannot seem to part with it. I do want to attempt to use that some this year, and it may end up 
in a future declutter. The Antidote is a beautiful palette. And I just recently used this. I had not used it at all, and I love the look that I created. So I am no longer uncomfortable with this palette, so I will be keeping that one. I have four Charlotte Tilbury palettes. I did have more. I have put some of my palettes in the Macari store already because I knew that I was not going to use them. And... I'm not super impressed with the Charlotte Tilbury formula. I mean, it's okay, but they just don't seem to be super pigmented. I do like how she has the shade saver that kind of gives you some guidance on how to use some of the shades. It is a very pretty color story, but I have not reached for it at all, so I am going to... Declutter this one. This is the Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize palette. This is the Instant Eye palette. Smoky Eyes Are Forever. This has the same shade saver in it that kind of gives you some guidance on how to use it. I believe that I have used this palette, but I don't gravitate towards it. I, I have no desire to use it, so I am going to declutter this one as well. Both of these palettes will be in my Macari store. I am keeping both of these little palettes. This is the Flawless Eye Filter Luxury Palette. I like the shimmers and even that black is a shimmer. I don't believe that I have a black shimmer. So I did enjoy this palette when I used it. And this is the Golden Goddess palette. I really like this one. As you can see, I have used this one quite a bit. Love those shades. And the formula in these little palettes is really nice. I think the formula in these are better than the formula in the big palettes. Moving on to C color. And I'm not sure, but it seems to me like they may have gone out of business. This is the Unisex One, and I like this palette. I have used this palette a couple times, and the Unisex Three, which I have used this one as well. I like both of these. I will be keeping these. However, when I was pulling my palettes out, and I don't normally feature Jeffree Star on my channel just because I don't want to deal with the the drama. <laughs> but these palette, this is a dupe for the Jeffree Star palette. And so I think I will be keeping the C color and I will be putting the Jeffree Star in my Macari store. I have two Ciate London palettes. And Sometimes their formula is a little bit of hit and miss. I love the message behind this I Am Woman palette, What Is Your Superpower? Because all of the shades are named after very powerful women. However, I never reach for this palette, so I will be decluttering it. And this as well is a very nice palette. I have used this palette and I did enjoy it when I used it. But again, not something that I reach for. There are other palettes that I would rather play with. So I will be decluttering that one as well. Next is the Dragon Fruit Palette from Cleonda Cosmetics. This is a collab with Emily Violet Marie. And this is a... Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette, and I will be keeping that for sure. I have two Colored Rain palettes. The Thunder palette, which kind of reminds me of the BH Cosmetics <laughs> Blueberry Muffin palette. I have not used this palette. I feel like I have all of these shades elsewhere, so I think I will declutter that, which surprises me. 
And then we have the rebellious nudes, which is very, very pretty. And I really lusted after this palette. I've never used it, as you can see. It still has the shade saver on it. And I think I'm going to declutter that one as well. I have 22 <laughs> ColourPop palettes. I am expecting to declutter several of these. Let's get into it. The first palette is the 1111. Such a pretty color story. I really wanted this palette. I have used it. The shades are a little bit warmer than what I would like. I am unsure whether I will keep this or... You know what? I'm going to declutter it. Aura Struck, that was the name that I couldn't remember. This is new to my collection. Look at how pretty that is. It does kind of remind me of that BH Moon palette. I will definitely be keeping this one. Blowing Smoke. This one ain't blowing nowhere. I am definitely keeping that one. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I love it so much. Flutter by, and I don't know what's going on with this. Look at how it's bowing. I don't know why it's doing that. I've had this one for a little while. It's a pretty palette, and I know that there are lots of people that love this palette. I will probably depot this one. Going Coconuts. This was one of my very first ColourPop palettes, and I absolutely loved it, and I am going to keep that one. Harry Potter. <laughs> I had to have this palette. I had to have this palette so much that, can I get it out of the sleeve? That when it went on sale, I was at work. Lordy Lou, I can't get it out. I was at work, and so a friend of mine sat at her computer and waited to push the button to buy it for me. And look at how pretty it is, and I've never used it. Can you believe I've never used this palette? What is wrong with me? It is absolutely stunning. I love it. So I am going to put this in the queue to get used. High Tide. This palette is new to me. I have used it. I think I've used it once, but I love the color story in it, and I will be keeping that. Gather Round Sisters. Look at how pretty this one is, too. I had to have this one as well. I see some disturbance on some of the shades, so I know I have used it, and I am definitely going to keep it. This is the Hocus Pocus palette. The It's a Mood palette. This is so pretty. And I have not given this palette the love that it deserves. I intend to do that. So I will definitely be keeping that one. Not doing too good on the color pops, y'all. Lemon cello, lemon cello, lemon cello. This is a really pretty palette. The color story does not make a whole lot of sense to me, but I love those yellowy tones. So I think that I will depot this one. Petals in point. I love the pinks in this one which is why I got it. I never knew that I was a pink girl, and I will probably depot this one. The Lush Life Palette. Holy moly, look at how colorful that puppy is. I'm unsure. I, I know that I'm keeping it. I just don't know whether I'm keeping it as a palette or if I am going to depot it. I think for now I will keep it as a palette and decide later. Sage the Day is new to my collection. I really do like the color story of this palette. I don't think that I have used this yet, but I am keeping that. The Sandstone palette. I love this palette. Love that color story. I am 
going to keep this for now. Smoke and Roses. This is new to my collection. I got this when ColourPop did their sale. This has been on my wish list for quite a while, and I purchased it, and I am keeping it. The So Fly palette with the dragonfly on it. This palette was gifted to me by Gloria. And Gloria has changed her name. She used to be Southern Mom of Boys, and I think she's now Beauty Over 50. And I love this palette, and I am definitely keeping it. The Stone Cold Fox. Has anybody ever decluttered this palette? I doubt it. I love this palette. It has gotten quite a bit of love, and I will be keeping it for sure. The Child from The Mandalorian. I like this color story as well, and I will be keeping this one. Ticket to Dreamland. My daughter said that I needed this palette, so I went online and looked for it. I think I got it off of eBay, and I think I swatched it, but I have not used it. I really love that green. I will probably depot this one. Troublemaker. This is one of my favorite ColourPop palettes. I love this color story. The formula of this palette is amazing, and I am definitely keeping that one. Witching Hour. I believe Andy from Andy Does Stuff sent me this palette. Because she knows that I'm just, you know, a little witchy girl. This is a very pretty color story, and I will be keeping this one. At Foresight, this was the collab that ColourPop did with Raw Beauty Christie. I love the packaging, and it has a very pretty color story to it. I, I'm not going to declutter this palette, but I can't decide if I'm going to leave it as is or depot it. I think for now I will leave it as is, and I can decide at a later date. I have three Cosmic Brushes palettes, and I believe that they're changing their name to Cosmic Beauty. And I just got these uh, during the holiday sale. I just did a collab with Andy from Andy Does Stuff with this Gothic palette, and oh my gosh, what a beautiful, beautiful palette. The formula is absolutely amazing. I am definitely keeping all three of these palettes, the Wonderland palette is amazing as well. That color story is a little outside of my comfort zone, but I am going to continue to use it. That is currently in one of my panning projects, and I have not yet used the Muse palette, but it is stunning as well, and I'm excited to use that. The next palette is the CXC Beauty palette. And I like the color story of this. I have not used it in a while. I believe that these pans are magnetic. And so I will probably depot this and use it as singles. This is the only Danessa Myricks eyeshadow palette that I own. This is the Lightwork Volume 3, the Experience palette. And I have not used it yet, even though it is in one of my panning projects, my That's Expensive panning project. So I am going to be keeping that. I have this cute little quad from Delance. These are multi-chromes, and they are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. I will be keeping that. This is my first palette from this brand, which is DD Signature. This is the Plum Perfection palette. And I absolutely love the color story of this palette. It creates an absolutely amazing look. And I have actually included this in my Fun Size Pan That palette. Very, very nice palette. I really like it. I have two Dior palettes. This is blue denim. Denim, not blue, just denim. And it is a very pretty palette. I really do not reach for this palette at all, and so surprisingly, I think I am going to declutter it. I also have the Dior Backstage palette. I do like this palette, and I think that I will 
hold on to this one and continue to use it. I have six Dominique Cosmetics palettes and I love her formula. However, I am not super crazy about this little palette. I am not going to use that very chunky glitter. So I am going to declutter this one. This is the Unconditional palette. This is the Moment. I believe I got this from BoxyCharm or Ipsy. I don't remember. But this is a very nice palette. I did enjoy this palette quite a bit. Am I going to use it? I think I'm going to declutter this one as well. That It's funny because I had no intention to declutter any of my Dominique Cosmetics. The Latte 2 palette. So pretty. I believe I might have used this one time. I think I'm going to keep that one. Celestial Storm. I have not used this palette at all. I don't know that I will. I may depot that, but for now I'm going to declutter it. Berries and Cream. This is a beautiful palette and I have not used this one either. I think that I will keep this one. And the Transition Palette. I have used this palette quite a few times, as you can see. And I am definitely keeping this one. Next is this Dose Palette. I believe I got this in an Ice Cream Beauty box. And the palette is broken. It's supposed to latch. It was broke when I got it, which kind of put a bad taste in my mouth. So... I really did not enjoy this palette. I will be decluttering this one. That's it for part one. If you stuck around to the end, I appreciate you. I hope that you will show that like button some love. Subscribe if you are not already. And I'll see you in part two. Okay? Love you. Bye.